Today's video is the first in a 10-part series that we've decided to produce for traders who are really serious about trading options for a living and taking the proper steps at the proper pace to seriously improve and excel. I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk and I can tell you from many years of experience that the pitfalls we're going to be describing in these videos are real. And if you're serious about trading for a living, you're going to take good notes and really internalize the points we're going to be raising. If you're actually serious about changing careers and trading full time as an options trader, then I urge you to watch this series of videos that we'll be releasing over the coming weeks and months so that you don't fall by the wayside like so many aspiring traders who don't want to spend the time to learn the actual truth about the challenges and rewards of trading. Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now, I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you, you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we produce for traders and investors all over the world. They're really very valuable. Okay, so as I mentioned, we've assembled 10 lessons on the realities of options trading and the blunders that you have to avoid if you're serious about trading for a living. This is basically a series focused on all sorts of foolish thoughts that people have about options trading, all sorts of ridiculous blunders they make and just how dangerous they really are. If you fall into any of these traps, you can cost yourself a great deal of money or forego a great deal of opportunity, which is just as unfortunate. Worse, you could get so discouraged that you'd quit before you realize that you actually have a natural talent for trading and that would be tragic. Either way, I'm urging you to take me seriously today if for no other reason than this. These are not just some principles that I've developed out of theory or from some book. These are actual experience that I've had trading personally and professionally. In other words, I've made every one of these mistakes myself and suffered the consequences myself. And so that's why I'm so passionate about helping all of you to avoid these same mistakes and have a much smoother ride to trading success. I honestly believe that these videos are about the most important that I can share with you. I mean, we could talk about great option strategies, great setups, trades with very high win rates and high returns, and all of that is solid information. But if you fall into these traps that the market and your own psychology has laid for you, then all of it's going to be for naught. You will blow up your account and never be able to trade any of these strategies. So what's the point? So these are actually very, very important lessons that can mean the difference between you're actually making it as a trader or flaming out quickly because you're approaching the learning process wrong. It's your choice, honestly. Okay, so today we're going to focus on the first blunder that I'd like to share with you, and that is the foolish belief that you'll trade $500,000 in capital the same way that you currently trade a $5,000 trading account. I mean, it's sort of obvious that that statement's not true, but many beginning traders can fall into the trap of believing that, and here's how it develops. Now, I want you to pay close attention because if this sounds like something you yourself have been thinking, you definitely need to watch the rest of this video. So here's how it goes. It starts with someone who figures he can get rich quick if he learns how to trade, or maybe he wants to quit his job because he's sick of it and bored by it, and he figures he'd have a lot more fun trading options for a living, so that's what he wants to do. Now, getting real about this, you're not going to get rich quick trading. It takes extensive training. You can get rich quick by hitting the lottery, but if you want to build wealth properly over time, you need to understand that it will take time, and education and anyone who tells you otherwise is not being straight with you. Please believe me on this. You can get there, but you need to do it the right way. So you can't just go and quit your job with the dream that you'll be tr a trading tycoon in a few weeks. It does not work that way. You need to have a new career or a new skill that you've developed properly over a period of education before you take a career risk and quit your job prematurely. So if any of this sounds like you, you really need to keep listening to what I'm saying here. 
Okay, so let's say that someone takes a course in options income trading, which is something that we teach here at SMB. So his expectations are that, hey, it's called options income trading. So if I take this course, it will replace my income and I'll just be able to pay my bills each month and eventually start buying expensive cars, going on exotic vacations, etc. if I just take this course and do what they say. After a few weeks of intensive study, I'll be set for life. That's because they don't understand that just because this practice is commonly known as options income trading, it doesn't mean that every trade will produce income for you. What it does mean is that if you develop the proper trading skills, you can produce a high enough return over time that you can do this for a living if you persist in your education and professionalism. We've got a floor full of traders here at SMB to bear witness to that fact. Okay, so let's take a hypothetical guy who takes a couple of courses in options income trading and actually starts making some money trading options. That can easily happen. In fact, when I first started trading options, I had this run of six months right in the very beginning of my trading journey where I was trading a small amount of capital and crushing it for six straight months before I had a loss. So you can get pretty cocky when something like that happens. So let's say our hypothetical guy is trading his favorite monthly options income strategy with $5,000 of capital initially. And let's say that the trade has a target profit of $500 or 10% of his capital, and it also has a stop, a maximum loss limitation of $500 for every trade. So the trade has a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, which is actually pretty good for options income trading because of the very high win rate of this practice. Now the reality is that many times with this particular strategy, the trader will draw down $400 during the course of the trade, but recover from that and make a profit or even hit his $500 target profit. Let's say that that's a common occurrence with this strategy. So since he's trading a $5,000 account, he just sits there and observes this unfold. After all, it's not a lot of money and he's not too worried about it because he knows that he's back tested the strategy and he's paper traded it and he understands that sometimes it's going to draw down $400 before it makes a full recovery and yields a great profitable result. Okay, so let's say in this hypothetical case after six months, this trader is up a thousand bucks on his $5,000, which is very doable in options income trading in certain markets. So he's up 20% on his $5,000 and the worst drawdown that he could have experienced during the entire period was $500. So let's take a hypothetical six months so you can see how he might have arrived at his $1,000 profit. So in month one, he was up. He made 350 bucks that month. And in month two, he made 500 bucks. Although you'll notice he drew down $400 before he ended up hitting his $500 target profit. In month three, he got stopped out and lost 500 bucks. And month four, he made $350, but not before having drawn down $400 first during the course of the trade. In month five, he lost $100. And in month six, he made 400 after having initially drawn down $400 on the trade. So that's how he got to his $1,000 profit after six months. I want you to focus on the months with the asterisks. In other words, three of those six months. So in those months, he got drawn down $400 at one point during the trade, but then ended up recovering and making a nice profit. And in the third month, he actually got stopped out at a loss of $500. So now keep in mind that we're talking about modest losses of four or 500 bucks here, and the guy's got $5,000 in his trading account, but let's assume that he's got much more net worth than that, so he's not really worried about that $400. So now this is when the disaster happens. And what is that disaster? It's a thought that enters this trader's mind and he says to himself, well, gee, I made 20% on $5,000. If I had traded $500,000, I'd be up 100 grand. I could go out and buy that fancy car and impress all my neighbors. This is crazy. Why am I trading $5,000? I mean, I made money four out of six months. You know, I'm a great trader. I'm up. 20% in just six months, I'm invincible. I'm an ATM machine, as one of my ultimately unsuccessful mentoring students once told me. So this is the moment of truth, or actually, this is the moment of falsehood. This early success is ironically one of the worst things that can happen to you as a trader, as you're about to understand. Now, before we go any further, before we explain exactly why a disaster is about to take place, I did want to point out that while this is a cautionary video intended to make your expectations realistic about what's in front of you as a developing trader, I also would want you to know 
that we are currently running a two-hour free intensive workshop at the moment where we'll be teaching you three real-world option strategies that actual professional options traders use, including a really simple but incredibly effective strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world, like Warren Buffett, use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like, where you'll make your target profit whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage. So if those strategies would be of interest to you, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open up the free registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. Or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Okay, so now back to our trading example. Let's just say hypothetically the next month he pours, foolishly, $500,000 into his account. And I'm telling you, I've seen this happen repeatedly to traders who are first getting started. So he pours a half million dollars into his account and he starts trading the same strategy with the same properties, the same likelihoods. Everything's the same, except he's now making a $500,000 trade as opposed to a $5,000 trade. So we've seen that the trade in three of the first six cases drew down $400 at one point. Well, when you're trading a $500,000 account, then everything is 100 times larger than a $5,000 account. So a mid-trade drawdown of $400 before becomes a mid-trade drawdown of $40,000 with the new size. Well, he's not used to seeing his account draw down $40,000. The biggest drawdown he saw before was $500 in the month he got stopped. So what would have been chump change to him on a $5,000 account at the exact same level of drawdown. In other words, what would have been a $400 loss at his original capital level now produces a $40,000 drawdown, meaning he's down 40,000 bucks, but he's not been stopped as yet because his stop is now 50,000. So what happens? I'll tell you what happens. He hits the panic button and his mind fills with doubt and fear and he's kicking himself. He can't believe he got himself into this situation and he closes the trade with a $40,000 loss to relieve his anxiety and fear. Well, now I want you to think about that slide that I showed you before. The first six months of this trader's journey where he made money four out of six months and produced a 20% return. Well, look what happens when he freaks out and panics out of the trades because he's trading way too large for his experience level and his current risk tolerance. He ends up losing 27% and losing $135,000, where if he had traded exactly the way he was trading before with the $5,000 account, there's a very good likelihood that had he not panicked out at the $40,000 level on each trade, which had formerly drawn down only $400, had he just maintained his former discipline, there's a very good chance that he would have recovered from those losses, and there's no reason to believe at all that he couldn't have made the $100,000 and the 20% positive return that he made in his first six months on the lower capital level. Instead, he ended up losing on five out of six trades and panicking out of each trade at a $40,000 loss as you can see, ending up with a disastrous outcome because of the sheer dollar amount of the drawdowns. The fact is that he was not ready to trade that size. It was a wonderful idea. I'll even admit it was a logical idea. Unfortunately, it was impossible to implement in the real world where the rest of us live. It was impossible to translate into reality because of the psychological barrier of jumping from a drawdown of $400 and translating that into a drawdown of $30,000 to $40,000 in the exact same trading situation, just on a greater level of capital. Now, you may think that you're a robot with nerves of steel and this wouldn't happen to you, but I can assure you I've been trading options for a long time. I have never met anyone who hasn't failed miserably in this exact scenario. That person doesn't exist. So how can we avoid this trap? First of all, I wanna say unequivocally that this trap can be avoided and you can get to the point where you will be trading exactly the same as you were trading on the smaller capital level. You just need to know how to get there. 
We've got traders on our desk here at SMB who regularly draw down seventy-five to hundred thousand dollars intraday and make millions of dollars a year trading for the firm. So you don't have to fall into this trap. So the way to avoid this problem is by understanding that sizing up your trading account is exactly like weight training. One of the guys on our desk has actually done extensive weight trading and he told me that you typically start out lifting about say 50 pounds and if you can do that consistently for a little while you bump your weight five pounds at a time. Five pounds. That's a 10% increase. And when you get to 150 pounds, that's a 3% increase. We're talking about minor incremental increases so you don't injure yourself. This guy on our desk was able to build up to 500 pounds. That's a 1,000% increase, but he did so very, very gradually over a number of years. So you start at a much lower level, 50 pounds or so, and it's not going to take you three days. It's going to take a number of years to get to 500 pounds and a lot of discipline and study and skill. Risk tolerance and muscle building have a lot of similarities. You're not going to be able to go from being able to tolerate a drawdown of $400 to being able to tolerate a drawdown of $40,000 overnight. You can get to the level where a $40,000 drawdown actually is no problem for you. You may, may even get to the point where you're trading for a prop firm like ours, trading a $20 million account. At those levels, you can easily get to a point where that level of a drawdown, a $40,000 drawdown, is not something that even bothers you psychologically. But you're not going to get there if your account is $5,000 and you bump it to $500,000 without any interim steps at all. Rather, if you increase your capital very, very slowly over time, you can build up that risk tolerance muscle. And then that statement that you could have made $100,000 in six months can actually become legitimately true and happens to guys around here all the time. You are not going to get there all at once. Everything about tra trading is a gradual skill building process. And in this case, it's a gradual psychological risk tolerance building process that takes time. If you try to rush it, I assure you, you'll regret it. I am so positive that you will regret it if you fall into this trap that I've made this options trading blunder number one because I think it's actually the most dangerous and devastating mistake that people can make. And the reason it's so devastating is that some people never psychologically recover from a series of losses like we just showed you or just about as bad, they do recover from it but the psychological scars that it creates because they ramped up their capital level too quickly in the beginning, affect their trading so deeply, they never really shake the fear created by those situations that they weren't ready for, and they permanently trade scared, which does not work. If a trader is too gun-shy to take risk, he will never be successful. Whereas if you had built up your capital level gradually, if you had done it intelligently, then you would not be scarred psychologically by a particular experience. Instead, you would slowly and gradually get more and more comfortable and you'll come to expect that you will encounter temporary drawdowns of a larger magnitude and you'd take them in stride instead of freaking out. Instead, you'd make money in months where you drew down initially in many cases and in the few cases where you got stopped out, you'd take that loss in stride and move on to the next month. And in many cases, make the money back in short order and proceed to experience the strong returns that you expected. So understanding options trading blunder number one, to repeat, I'll trade $500,000 of capital the same as I currently trade $5,000 is a crucial principle for you to understand for your long-term success as a trader. If any of this is familiar and you just ramped up your account and you're feeling cocky about your trading, please stop everything and get in contact with me. If this video hasn't succeeded in talking you out of it, I'll personally talk you out of it as a public service because it's that critical. You're never going to be a successful trader if you start out knocking yourself out of the game psychologically in your early days as a trader. And that would be a shame because this style of trading has such a high win rate that if you just build up your capital level gradually, you have a really good shot at reaping the rewards you were seeking in the first place. Now, just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable from it and would like to learn the details of three real-world option strategies that professional options traders use all the time, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right-hand corner of your screen. That will open up 
the free registration page in a new window so you won't lose this video, don't worry. Or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's really a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Okay, so now it's your turn. Does any of this sound familiar to you? Does any one of our subscribers or viewers have a similar story? If you do, please comment below so that the others can all see that what I'm talking about is the real deal and something extremely important that must be kept in mind. And please, right now, press on the subscribe button because you'll be notified as we continue this important series that will keep you focused on all of the important pitfalls that you need to avoid to become a successful, professional, full-time options trader, which for many of you is your dream.